is an overview video on the new Chapstick Duos. Um, mostly because I felt like the way that Chapstick promoted them was a little bit scummy because when they first announced these, they said there were 24 flavors. What they meant to say was that individually there are 8 products and 8 physical flavors, but the way you combine them could create 24 flavors. That will be a second video later today. But anyway, of the actual physical flavors, they sell them in two ways. Actually, technically three. But they either sell them in packs of two, like this, which makes sense as they are duos, but they also sell them individually, like this, which I guess makes sense if you got some of them as duos and then you're like missing a flavor, but you don't want to get a duplicate, you can get like the individual of it. Or, you know, in my case, I just happened to find three double packs and then two as individuals. The other way I've seen them sold are, um, they're not carded, they're just, uh, not cling wrapped, but not vacuum sealed, you know what I mean. They're individually wrapped anyway, and they're just in a box near cash registers. And I guess that works too, but... Yeah, so you'll either find them like this, like this, or in one of those packs, which literally just looks like that part of it in its own little cling wrap. So anyway, of the ones that exist, there are eight, and we have got Refreshing Watermelon is the red one, Strawberry Kiwi is the pink one, Sweet Peach, which y'all know I am the most excited for, is this peachy colored one. Vanilla Shimmer is the, I guess it doesn't have sparkle on the actual uh, cap itself, but it's a sort of off-white, beigey color. Whoops. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> um, this one is Cool Mint, which my brain keeps wanting to call Sweet Mint because of Eos. We have Berry Sorbet Shimmer. And then the last two are... Tropical Pineapple, and the actual white one, white one, which you can see there is a color difference between those two, is Fresh Coconut. Now, I would like to say something about the two shimmers. This one and this one. They basically are very similar to the EOS shimmers that came out this summer. One of them happens to be white and sparkly, the other one happens to be Tinted and sparkly. This one has more of a berry colored tint to it than um, the. Wow, it's raining hard. Uh, it's more of a berry colored tint to it than the EOS version, which was more of a baby pink. Which I guess for that, I'll probably like this one better for color. Scent probably won't be wild on, but I mean, if the color's good, I'll use it anyway. But yeah, basically the idea is they snap together. You can see how they interlock there, and yes, they will be getting open and shown and all of that. That's actually part of the next video I'm doing. But, um, yeah, so you're able to take them apart, put together whatever you want, and have unique combinations that way. Now, personally, I've never been that big on layering different lip balm flavors over each other because I feel like I'm getting one on top of the other in its packaging and now it's going to smell like the other one forever because I went and did that. So usually what I end up doing is I put one flavor on my lower lip, one on my top lip, and then go mm, like that and mix them that way. Some people just put them straight on one over the other and that's okay. Everybody is different. That is fine. So basically my approach to reviewing these is I am going to review each individual flavor of the eight, and then, once I complete all eight of those, I am also going to review every possible combination you can make with these, and how they stack up in terms of how well do they work together or don't work together. Like, for instance, some of these I could see being potentially kinda uh, like mint and strawberry kiwi. For some reason, I do not see that combination working well, but maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I mean, I didn't think peach and coconut would work well together, but um, Lip Balm Queen claims that they work great together, so I guess we're gonna find out when I get to those. But I do have to review each of these individually first before I get to those. And again, they are just my own personal opinions and feelings about each one of them. You might combine them and feel totally differently, and if that's the case, 
I encourage you to make your own review videos or to even just comment on mine and tell me what you thought of them together. So anyway, that is it for this overview video. Um, so anyway, as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. And until next time, bye!